Well, hello YouTube world, Garth Wunsch here. Sometimes I have a lot of trouble with planting very tiny seeds and uh, I've picked up a few ideas here and there and I thought I might show you or share with you how I plant really, really tiny seeds. Uh, they do come smaller but not a whole lot smaller than this I guess. This is uh, it's a Greek oregano seed, let me see what we can do here. So it's Greek oregano. I bought these seeds from William Dam. They're a really good Canadian company to deal with as far as I'm concerned. Uh, these seeds are tiny, tiny, tiny. Uh, somewhere around four and a half thousand seeds to a gram or about 300,000 seeds to an ounce. How do you handle them? You don't want to plant like just take your container and go like so. So what I do and what I've learned to do is I put, and I hope we can follow all of this. Okay, that's probably what came out there. Oh, I bet you there's 50 seeds here. Can you see those little guys? Maybe 50 seeds. Now what I, I've just put them on a plastic lid that I've cut a notch in, and the reason I put that notch there is two reasons. One is that it really facilitates putting the seed back in the pack because I'll just squeeze that up and put the seed back in the pack. Or if I'm sowing seed out in the garden, I can just squish this up and get one seed at a time coming down the little channel. It works quite well. So this is a little blower it's called Hamilton Pro Seeder. And it's just a little blower with a very, very fine tip. So what I do is I squeeze it down, let it go, and now it's, if I stay real steady, you might see the little seed on there. And as soon as I squeeze it, it lets the seed go. So you can see I can blow it around really easy. So I have a seed, and then I go over onto my seed blocks, and whoops, that didn't work so well, so we'll scratch that one. Get another seed. Go to the seed block, squeeze a little bit and it's gone. Pick another one and then let it go. Up we go. Now keep in mind that this isn't something you're going to plant at least not for the average home person. You're not going to plant anymore. Those are there's five seeds that are planted there, five oregano plants. That's quite a bit. So that the seeds go into the soil block. Uh, I don't cover the seed. It's going to get a plastic cover over it and keep it humid, and moist. Now these little seed blocks are kind of neat little things, and and they're quite sturdy. They're made with a soil blocker like so. So I don't know if you can see that. Uh, I bought those from Johnny Selected Seeds. I don't know where else you can buy them, but uh, I think Lee Valley Tools might have them too now. I'm not sure. Uh, it just depends on what kind of a kit size you want to buy. But these guys are really quite sturdy. Um, so as soon as this seed has germinated, I'll show you what I've done with some other ones. This is a lettuce plant. Can you see the lettuce, little lettuce sticking up there? Um, it's right there, and there's the little soil block. So as soon as it germinates, it goes into a bigger block, and it has a square hole in it put in by a bigger soil block maker, and that holds holds it on. Now the idea of a soil block is, well, one, you don't have to mess around with uh, pots, but the when the roots come out, they come to the edge, and they air prune. And they don't go anymore. You don't get a plant that's root bound. You can see really when it's time to transplant it on. So, before I sneeze on these oregano seeds and don't have any left, because there's enough here for half a lifetime supply, so I just squeeze them back into the into the pack. Now there's another way to for seeds that are a little bit bigger. These are uh, tatsoi seeds. It's a brassica. So I'm going to use, again, make sure I don't 
have any seed left on there. And they're considerably bigger. So I use a bit of a different technique that I learned from Barbara Damrosh, that's Elliot Coleman's wife. And this is really neat too. So just, I take a pencil, dip it in the water, touch the seed, it picks it up, touch the soil block, it's gone in the water, touch the seed, it stays on, on the block. And so just make sure you keep track of where you are going along the soil block, however you want to figure out how to count that. So there's five done in that time. It's just, just touch it on. There it goes. And these are actually big enough that you can see where they, when you set them down, it help if the seeds were real white or the soil was white, one of the two. But this works really, really well. So, ten, ten seeds of tatsoi. That's gonna. I'm gonna have uh, some to give away if that works out at all. And I know we have a seedling exchange coming up here. So, back in they go. And that's done. What happens then is I'd simply take a, a plastic cover. Well, I have first, I, and it's important that I find it pretty important anyway to label these things. So I have some, and what I use for labels, and this works really well, is old Venetian blinds. Uh, once you get one blind and you cut them up into a piece two, three inches long, you have enough from one blind to last you forever. So this is, um, this is oregano. The first little wee tiny tiny seeds I planted, and it's Greek, and that was organic seed. And then I keep a log book, so that will go right in there. And you have to sort of keep track of things yourself too. And this is the tatsoi. And then we'll go down there. And those little guys back into the potting mix for the next time. Then I just take an, uh, well, I'll, I always make sure that the seed gets, and this is the only way you can really water these things in the beginning, is with a spray bottle and fine mist and you can't hit them hard or it's not that the soil block will break up, it's just that the seed will be gone and who knows where. So that will go like so and under the lights until it's all ready to germinate, until they germinate and ready to be potted on. Um, this little plastic cover is really good to keep the humidity in. I check them twice a day and make sure that the little guys are all happy. So that's a couple of ways to handle really tiny, tiny seeds. Take care. Till next time. Bye now.